Welcome back to another Kdom 3D tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to generate your own model using Kdom, showcasing it in a standard, high and ultra quality. After that, we'll also be looking to the fill color tool, which lets you add color to your character. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. Assuming you already made an account, you should be greeted with this assets folder page. In here, you'll find an astronaut character and an aircraft. On the left side, you want to go click on create and you can see on the right side of the screen the different types of generation you can choose. I'll be testing each one based on one concept, determining which one I think is best for terms of quality and pricing of each credit. At the bottom, here you can have a further look on the quality comparisons, poly count, a tutorial and the input guidelines for the character image. I'll go ahead and select my file. This right here is the image I'm using which I've generated using Midjourney. As shown in Kdom's YouTube tutorials, your models can be generated from drawings, paintings and even photos. So don't feel too restricted if you don't have the character concept drawn up. For starters, I'll go ahead and choose the standard option. Set a name for your character, in this case I put Mushroom Knight Standard. I then edited the max poly count from 3000 to 5000. I'm not sure if this is recommended, but I just made sure the number is less than what is shown in the high option. Last but not least, I set the height to 200cm. After that, we'll go ahead and click generate and it should bring you back to the assets page. On the right side of the screen, we'll show you where it's at in the generating process. So right now it's being queued up and then once it gets accepted, you should see it move down to the processing model. After that stage, a QA review and refinement, meaning the 3D specialist is just making its final touch-ups on your model. The whole process usually takes around 15 to 30 minutes for a standard model. When your model is done being made, you'll get a notification on your email, or if you're like me and linked up your Kdom account to your Discord, you'll get a message from Kdombot saying your asset is finished. We can go ahead and go back to our assets page and you'll see your model. Open it in 3D Studio and you'll be able to have a closer look at it. Don't worry about the editing tools right now, we'll look into that later on and in future videos. I'm pretty happy with how the standard model looks, but now I want to see how it looks like with the high and ultra. I'll go ahead and generate those same images by repeating the process done for each generation. Now that I have all three types generated of the same image, let's go ahead and look at the differences. Keep in mind the high model took around 1 hour to generate and the ultra model took around 2 hours to generate. Looking back at our standard, I wasn't expecting anything to be in great detail, but it did get the main features like the detailing in the belt, the scarf, the gloves, and its overall shape. I'll give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Moving on to the high quality, you can see there are a lot more details added. Although the details in the belt got removed, everything else kind of looked better in terms of shape and the smoothness of the clothing. The scarf got longer and went all the way to the back, as well as adding some shape into the clothes like this cloud looking design. I found this bit pretty funny, how there was only one mushroom spot on the corner of his head. Another thing I like was the face markings that they've added. Overall, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. Now onto the Ultra. This right here is my favourite. There's a lot more details that have been added. First thing I noticed was more mushroom spots on the head. Looking from the bottom, you'll see the lines that you usually find in mushrooms. In terms of clothing, the belt buckle has been added with extra pockets, and the harness as well has some great detail into it. There's some minor improvements on the gloves, adding a bit more depth, which I like. Overall, I'll give this a 9.5 out of 10. You can look over the preview in the asset page to get a better look on the differences by quickly going through each generation. I'll go ahead and select the ultra character generation and click open in 3D Studio. We'll go ahead and add color into our character by using the free fill color tool. Click on this and select sample from image. Your image that you use to generate should pop up. From here, all you do is get the color you select from the image and paint the spots you want in your character in that particular color. You can obviously choose your own color and play around with whatever you see fit. If you want to have the same color as your image, just color pick and select the image of the model you want to color. I do wish they add the feature where it's easier to select multiple parts of the model and color it at the same time, as well as being able to enlarge the image so it's easier to color pick certain details. Another great feature I'd like is an undo function, so if you want to go back a couple steps, that would be helpful. Other than that, I think the tool is very nice and a great alternative to auto texturing if you don't want to spend any more credits. But that bit is totally up to you. After a while, this is what it looks like. Click save and wait for it to apply the colors. It should link you back to the menu and you can play around with it in the mini window. That is all for this video. I hope you find this video insightful and useful when you use Kdom. In the next video, we'll look into the auto texturing tool and iterate tool. Big thank you to the Kdom team for partnering with me and allowing me to test their tools. Be sure to give them support by following all their social medias. The link to their stuff will be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.